Take a look at this Java statement. This is the declaration of a data item. It's not an object. It's a location in memory that can hold the address of an object. It's called a reference, and it can hold the address of an object, but only of an object of the specific class rectangle. Like other variables in Java, this one has a default initial value. The initial value of a reference is null. Null is a keyword in the Java language. It's the same as if you had declared the initial value this way. To create a new object, you use the keyword new on the name of the class. The new keyword returns the address of a newly created object. You keep track of this address by storing it in a reference of the proper type like this. All objects are created, instantiated, realized, whatever you want to call it, by using the keyword new. All objects are created by having memory from free storage allocated for them. You recall that a class definition is the blueprint for constructing an object. Well, the new keyword is the construction company that uses that blueprint to do the actual construction job. Once that construction job is over, the keyword new returns the address of the newly created object to your program. If you're going to need it, you have to store it somewhere and that's the job of the reference. Now what you see here is the creation of a reference in one step and the instantiation of an object in the next step. These two can be combined into a single statement that looks like this. From this point on you can refer to the rectangle object by using the name of the reference. Using the reference, you can call the methods of the rectangle object, you can assign its address to another reference, you can pass the object to some other class as an argument to a method. You could do this. This statement creates a new rectangle reference and stores the address of the original rectangle object into it. You now have two references addressing the same object. You could set the value of all the references to the object to null, which has the effect of deleting the object. But that's garbage collection, and I'm going to be discussing that later. Right now, make sure you understand what a reference is and how to use one. You can refer to members of the rectangle object by using a dot reference. For example, if the rectangle object has a method named set width, you could call it like this. Putting the address of an object in a reference and then using the name of the reference in a statement is the same as addressing that object directly. In fact, the only possible way to address an object is to have its address stored in a reference.